Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Dan Udy with A1 Carpet Care, changing lives one carpet at a time. And it's Thursday, January 9th. This is the best episode we have put together yet. Espen and I clean not only a couch, a chair with an ottoman, but also an entire living room with the rotary extraction, Rotovac 360, and we had incredible results. The client was so impressed that not only did she leave us a review on Google immediately, but she also left one on Facebook. You're not gonna wanna miss a beat, especially the end. Wait till you see what we were able to pull out of this carpet. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe below and hit the bell so you get notified every time we put a new video out. So here we are with the first step of our cleaning procedure today, commercial vacuuming. And you can see Espen has the Pro Team 1500 XP commercial vacuum. He's starting to pre-vacuum all the furniture including both sides of the cushions underneath, both sides of the pillows. And because the client had pets and there was uh, an odor issue that she was wor mostly just a dander odor, this step is probably one of the most important steps for cleaning today. And you can see I'm starting to vacuum the carpet with the workhorse vacuum, which I believe does a little bit better job than the pro team for carpet, namely because you can actually watch and see the dry soil enter the canister as you're vacuuming. So we like to say we can actually hunt for the dirt and it's particularly handy in front of the doorways or coming off of any hard surface flooring. We find usually there's an abundance of sand. And being that we're right in the southeast Georgia on the coast, our soil is extremely high in sand and of course sand is an extremely abrasive compound and can wear out the integrity of the fibers in your carpet very very quickly. For this fact alone we try to take a lot more time than your usual average carpet cleaner in our commercial vacuuming step. A lot of times it can take two technicians anywhere between 15 minutes and an hour just to pre-vacuum before we even start to apply the, the soap-free detergent and agitation. For almost an entire decade of my professional carpet cleaning career, we never offered vacuuming as part of the cleaning procedure. We would always ask the customer to have the carpets vacuumed before we would arrive. And the issue we would run into over and over and over again is that they would either forget or their vacuum would break or they tried to vacuum but they were in kind of a hurry and didn't have a time to do a really thorough job. And while to most people this may not seem like a very big deal, for us, being that the vast majority of all soiling in a carpet is dry soil and is best to have removed with commercial vacuuming, it actually presented a huge problem and our work and results suffered as a direct result. So you're going to get to see here in just a second while I really love this commercial vacuum. And you can see the canister as I'm going over this area, the dirt and sand actually going into the canister real time. This is exactly what I meant by this vacuum we can use to hunt for dirt. And now Espen is going to be applying the soap-free detergent to the couch cushions, both the front and back of every single one. In this particular batch of detergent, we also put a deodorizer to help knock down the pet dander smell. So while he started to apply the detergent to all the upholstery that we're going to be cleaning, you can see here on the right that I'm still actually continuing to finish up vacuuming just this one room. And again, this one room of vacuuming took me about 30 minutes just to get all the dander and sand out of it. Our customer today had a very clean home and regularly vacuumed, but you can clearly see today the difference between a really high-end consumer grade vacuum and a commercial vacuum like the Workhorse. Wanted to show you guys real quick what came out of that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a pretty good bit of um, sand. It probably weighs four or five pounds. Um, mostly sand, but a lot of dander, hair, and um, this is a really good commercial vacuum that we like to use. So after we had everything vacuumed very, very thoroughly, and Espen was done applying all the detergent to every single face of the upholstery that we we're going to clean. You can see here he's using a hand mitt 
to agitate the preconditioner into the fiber of the upholstery. This is an extremely important step of our cleaning process because it dramatically improves the detergent's ability to loosen soils and prepares it much better for the next step, which is hot water extraction, commonly referred to as steam cleaning. We have about a half a dozen different brushes and tools that we can use to agitate the detergent into the fiber depending upon the type of upholstery we're cleaning. And very similar to carpet, the more severely soiled, the more aggressive we are with the agitation step of our cleaning procedure. As Espen finished up agitation step of the upholstery cleaning, you can see here that I went ahead and got started preconditioning the carpet fiber to allow for a nice dwell time. This is one of the major advantages in working with teams of two is that there's almost always something to keep both technicians engaged, speeding up the time it takes to complete the job by a huge margin. And while we try never to be in a hurry, this particular job took almost two hours to complete and had it had just been one of us doing the job, it probably would have taken more than twice that long. Another really neat advantage in working with teams of two is that as you can probably pick up, carpet cleaning can be a rather physically demanding job. So it's nice to have somebody be able to give you a break anytime you need one and not have to stop cleaning. So the final step of the upholstery cleaning for today is the hot water extraction or steam cleaning as you can see I'm starting to do here. And if you can check in the background there you can see that Espen is preparing the counter rotating brush machine for agitating the preconditioner into the fiber or face yarn of the carpet. This is just one more great example of how we engage both technicians throughout the entire job. One item we did forget to bring today was our fold up table which is a really nice addition anytime we're doing upholstery cleaning we set up a little table put the cushions on there and it makes for a much easier time in cleaning those without having to bend over as much. The final step of the upholstery cleaning process of hot water extraction or steam cleaning only took us about 35 minutes from start to finish. As soon as Espen was done with the counter rotating brush machine for agitation of the carpet in the living room he went ahead and wrapped that up and took it outside took the trays off of it and once he got done doing that I had him take over on the hot water extraction while I went ahead and prepared the Rotovac 360 or the rotary extractor for the next thing which was the actual carpet cleaning. This is definitely the fun part, being able to watch the water come through the sight tube as you operate this rotary extractor or Rotovac 360 is extremely rewarding. 
The first pass when we go from left to right is where we apply the actual hot water and then when we move the other direction we come off of the trigger and have that be a dry pass removing as much of the excess moisture as possible. This piece of equipment really sets us apart as we are the only professional carpet cleaning company in our entire area that uses rotary extraction or even has access to tools like this. We're also one of only a couple companies in our area that uses counter-rotating brush machines also. I had been cleaning carpets for a couple years before I even knew that a rotary extractor existed and as soon as I bought the first Rotovac 360, uh, within six months we had actually purchased an additional one for the other van as well. After being in introduced to the counter-rotating brush machines and investing money to have one of those on every van, we have stopped using the rotary extractor as often, but every now and then, especially for jobs like this, we do like to pull it out because it's a much more aggressive and thorough way to clean the carpet. The only real downside being that it does take a lot longer than a traditional wand cleaning. So even though Espen's been working with us for several months now, this was the first day he's ever actually got a chance to operate the Rotovac 360, and I was very ha happy to capture it for our YouTube channel. And of course, just like everything else Espen's tried with our company so far, he was a natural and did an amazing job right out the gate. Prior to coming to work with us, Espen was working in landscaping for a local company, and so we knew right out the gate that he had a really good work ethic and was used to getting hot and sweaty because landscaping in southeast Georgia is way, way hotter than carpet cleaning. Just like almost every employee we have working with our company, Espen came by way of referral. Back in the Navy, I worked with his father at a training facility and his dad messaged me when he saw a post on Facebook asking if we were still looking to hire somebody. When I said yes, he immediately referred Espen and I thought he was joking when he sent over his resume because his name, Espen, is spelled E-S-P-N. Matter of fact, it's because of this that Espen and his mother just got back from a trip to New York where Espen was actually on a TV show because of his name. And I bet you'll never guess what network that aired on. So here you can see me grooming out the carpet, getting the little swirly marks out, and dragging the coffee table back in place and placing little pieces of foam underneath it to protect both the carpet fiber and the piece of the furniture. Because our client was mostly concerned with the pet dander odor, I let her know last week when I did the estimate that after we had gotten done cleaning, we would apply a really strong deodorizer to help maintain that fresh clean smell longer. So the application of a deodorizer was the next step in our cleaning process and here you can see I used the inline sprayer to apply it. And as soon as I got done applying the deodorizer, Espen grabbed the grooming brush with a grooming rake and brushed the deodorizer into the fiber and also got out all the little swirly marks from the Rotovac. Not everybody appreciates the little swirly marks as much as I do and by grooming the carpet with this tool we're actually able to speed up the dry time as well. People ask all the time how long it takes for the carpet to dry and we immediately let them know that it depends upon the airflow, temperature, and humidity and usually ranges somewhere between two and six hours. My brother wanted me to let you guys know we have a, an agreement with Sterilite. This is some product placement here, so we should be expecting some royalty checks here very soon for that. And that is dark. That is very, very dark. And we're going to need to dump that and refill it. Wow. One room and a couch. Been a few days since you guys got to see my vegan lunch. So this is my vegan lunch, Brussels sprouts, black beans, brown rice, tomatoes with some vegan sour cream, and some olives. And it's delicious. You want some, Angela? Oh, it looks like you have your lunch. Toffee. English toffee peanut. English toffee peanut. That sounds like a winner.